I mean, really, if you look at it, they they went from all the money they spent. They brought in Doug Peterson. He fixed Trevor Lawrence, and he made the playoffs. It was like a, a major success story of an off season. And now the step two comes getting past just being in the playoffs. Yes, you want a playoff game, but you know you got to kind of think big and taking a look at what this team has got to figure out. I, I think overall, I would I would stick on defense early. Uh, both up front and in the secondary. Uh, they definitely look, I think Darius Williams and uh, Tyson Campbell, definitely a good player. He's turning into a really good corner. Um, I think you, you're okay with Darius Williams, but y- you need a nickel. You can't have really Trey Herndon out there full time. So you need another nickel. Um, and I also think that uh, this Rayshon Jenkins thing is just, he makes so much money for what he does. I, I just, he did have a good season though, but are, you know, do they need to add? I, I think no matter what, they have to add a couple players in the secondary, but also up front on defense, I would like to see them add a little bit more. Like we said with Atlanta and a couple other teams, we'll add a little bit more up front to their three, four unit. Um, as far as edge rushers, they have two of them. You're hoping they have two of them with Trayvon Walker, of course, and Josh Allen. But I don't know if they have three of them. And if you only have two of them, that's not good. You need a third. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, echo there. Everything. Um, what I like about the secondary starting off there um, is that Darius Williams gives them options, right? Darius Williams can credibly play nickel and he can play outside. But he, he was much year. better when he was moved to the outside last year. Yeah, and I, so it, it kind of gives them the option. But that you're right; it gives them an option. Yeah, if they do find an outside corner like a uh, like a Joey Porter Jr. or or Deontay Banks, at least now you you have someone already in house that can shift to nickel. I agree; the move would be get a nickel in here and keep Darius on the outside. But it, he has that kind of versatility, and it just gives them a few more options draft weekend. Uh, agree with you that there's depth needed on the front. Uh, the edge rushers, Chase on just has not worked out. Surprise to me. I liked him coming out of LSU in, in 2020. Um, Jordan Smith, I just don't think there's going to be much there behind Josh Allen. So, yeah, I and mean, you have you have one injury to one of these guys, or you want to move, you want to use Trayvon Walker the way that you drafted him in that he can play inside on certain looks. So who are you going to put on the outside in his place? Um, they don't have that body right now. So, um, you could label that their top defensive need and the corner second. Um, that can probably, you could be debate that which one is more important. It really comes down to the scheme and what kind of football they're playing. I think this offense is going to start scoring a lot of points next year. Um, and when you have an offense that's scoring a lot of points and you're putting pressure on the opposition to put points up with you, I think the pass rush becomes a little bit more important. And, uh, you know, you let those guys pin their ears back a little bit and get after them. So um, that that's definitely, I'm on the same page with you with where those defensive needs are. I would prefer someone on the uh, an edge defender or defensive front first that can add to the pass rush uh, before I'd add a corner. Um, the biggest need to me, considering what they're going to try to do on offense with Calvin Ridley in, in, in town now, um, is it that that left guard spot. Yep. You know, Ben Barch, I, I'd be a little worried if that's my starting left guard yep. going to next year. And, you know, losing – Jawan Taylor to Kansas City, not a huge deal because I think Walker Little is going to slide in and offer same, if not better, play. Yeah, but he played well. Of, yeah, and the advantage of having Walker Little though, you need a swing guys, tackle. You need another tackle. Yep. For depth, you know, and these are these are guys that have injury his, uh, histories. Cam Robinson and Walker Little both have injury history, and you know, one snap of the finger, those guys could be out. And who's going to step in? They don't have anyone. Right yeah, now. yeah, and it, it can't be Josh Wells. No, definitely not. I mean, this is another, you know, when you said earlier, there's usually a 35-year-old veteran out there that will sign with someone yeah. in July or August. I think this is the number one team that that guy will go to. Might be, but totally agree, especially when you have a rookie center who, who still has a ways to go. You have to have – and Scherf is looking like all of a sudden has he has his age caught up to him. Right. So right. you need another good player in that interior of that line to solidify – uh, that spot. So completely agree there. Uh, but yes, it's, uh, it's looking like Jacksonville is definitely on the way up uh, because uh, other than that offensive line spot we talked about, there's really not much else except maybe if you want to add another receiver. You know, yeah. there's, uh, I don't really like the depth of receiver they have. If a guy goes down, 
I don't want Jamal Agnew playing all that much, to tell you the right. truth. Yep. And they don't really have anyone else. So Yeah, and, and even, you know, Evan Ingram was franchised, right? So That's a one-year yeah, deal, that's, yeah. That's a one-year deal. They don't have anything behind him. That's right. Um, in, this deep, in this deep tight end class, this is one of the teams that I could say, oh, wow, I didn't see that one coming. They just used, uh, you know, their second-round pick on a tight end that fell into their lap. But it, it makes sense, especially if it's someone that can play the wide tight end role in line, hand in the dirt, and block, right? Because yep. that's not what you're getting out of Evan Ingram. Well, they lost Mannerts, and that yep. was that guy. So they got to yeah. replace that guy. Uh, by the way, I, I think Garrett Prince is an intriguing rookie free agent from last year. Yeah, he was. Gonna look. He was like the number one tight end in college football for yards per catch by a large margin. Right now, yeah, he has a different yeah. kind of. He's, he's not your prototypical tight end. Right, but he's an intriguing kind of long term prospect to keep an eye on. That's their offense. You know, they don't use Evan Engram in a traditional role either, so he fits that offense well. I just think you need at least one guy in there. Absolutely. Oh, well, you need a blocker. Yeah, yeah you need a manager yeah. type of guy. 